Hello everyone, I am welcoming all of you in my online class number on, on chapter number 10 and the title of this uh, chapter is basic networking. That means in this uh, lecture we are going to discuss about very basic concept of networking. So let's start our today's discussion. At first I would like to show you our chapter outcome so in this chapter basically we are going to discuss about what is computer networking what is data communication the component of data communication what is client and server computer then uh, we will discuss about different types of uh, computer network like personal area network uh, local area network metropolitan area network and white area network as well as uh, we will discuss about uh, different types of network topology like uh, we have bus topology ring topology star topology mesh topology we will discuss about different communication medium like uh, magnetic medium like uh, wire medium wireless medium okay as well as we, we will discuss about different transmission line transmission mode you can say uh, you can say uh, simplex okay half duplex okay so this type of thing we will discuss inside this chapter but in this class uh, I will discuss about only two topic one is first of all uh, I would like to discuss about what is computer network and second topic is what is data communication and I will explain different components of data communication as I already mentioned, our first topic is computer network. Okay, let's see what is computer network. So uh, here, the definition given here, a computer network consists of a collection of computers, printer, other equipment that is connected together so that they can communicate with each other. So here, one important thing is that uh, here we uh, here you uh, you might have number of computer devices like uh, your uh, desktop your laptop okay your printer uh, your other computer devices okay all the devices will be connected with each other by using uh, different types of network gear like switch like hub like router okay uh, and the main purpose of computer network is basically what to transfer data from one device to another device so in this picture you can see okay here we have a uh, number of pc okay one two three three pc we have one uh, printer okay and uh, all of them are connected with each other by using this network here network device that is called switch okay by using switch we are connecting all of them that's why they are telling that uh, this is a computer network okay and if i want i can uh, transmit data from this computer to this computer or any other computer or i can give uh, instruction to my uh, printer from any computer as the printer is the part of this network right uh, and what is the main advantage of this network okay as i already mentioned uh, within a very short time we can transmit data from one place to another place from one device to another device and second one uh, we can utilize the resources if you uh, if you uh, think about the resources suppose here we have one printer okay uh, we need not to use four printer for four pc we are using only one printer okay by using this only one printer okay we can perform our task from any of the pc right so this is your computer network Le let me show you another example okay here we have another picture so number of devices are connected with each other okay here we have an example of uh, wi-fi here we are using router by using this router we are basically creating uh, basically uh, uh, it is basically playing role as a hot spot okay and uh, whatever the devices we have if we have those devices uh, in its range okay uh, your devices will be able to access internet okay 
or they uh, will be able to connect with each other okay we have a laptop we have uh, our mobile phone tablet okay other devices we have all of them are connected with each other by using this router so this is the example of computer network now the next topic we have that is uh, data communication let's see what is data communication the definition first then i am going to explain what are the components of data communication so data communication means uh, data communications are the exchange of data between two devices via some form of transmission medium such as a wire cable okay so the definition is very simple so <clears throat> data communication means trans transfer data from one device to another device and when i when i uh, i would like to transfer the data on that time i have to use a communication medium right so suppose uh, in the class we basically do our communication isn't it how i am speaking and you are listening okay so what happened on that time i am the sender you are the receiver in between us we have a communication channel what is the communication channel in between us we have ear isn't it okay if i uh, speak with you guys in the moon is it possible to hear that sound not possible because uh, in the moon we do not have any ear isn't it okay right so here the ear basically playing role as communication medium so same thing here when i would like to transfer data from one computer device to another computer device also we need communication medium it might be wire or it might be wireless right for data communications to occur the communicating devices must be part of a communication system made up of a combination of hardware and software hardware means physical equipment software means uh, no physical existence okay right so uh, what they are mentioning uh, consider this picture first okay here we have one sender okay and here we have one uh, receiver okay and uh, i would like to transfer data from sender to receiver uh, that means i have to use a communication channel okay this symbol basically indicating wireless and this symbol basically indicating wire and through this communication channel what i can uh, transmit i can transmit messages okay messages might be different form like it might be text it might be audio or it might be video right okay so the main thing is that data communication means transfer data from one computer to another computer one device to another device via medium communication medium right and uh, in the second point they are mentioning that they are mentioning one important point that is that, uh, that is uh, your computer should be part of this network okay suppose for an example uh, if there is a gap okay these two computer they are under a network okay they, uh, they are connected with a uh, common communication channel that's why they are under a network suppose if we do not uh, if we do not have that uh, communication line here okay now consider the situation okay now this computer is not part of the network now tell me is it possible to transfer data from this computer to this computer not possible isn't it okay that's why they are telling that uh, for data communication to occur the communicating devices must be part of a communication system right okay um, another real life example i can give you like uh, you have your i mean uh, work station i mean if, if uh, you have your uh, laptop or you have your desktop at your home okay if you do not have any internet connection okay if you do not have any broadband connection ethernet connection is it possible to transfer data from that pc to is it possible to transfer uh, email for an example email from that pc to your friend's pc it is not possible because your computer is not part of the network okay right so uh, now i would like to discuss about different components of data communication okay so these are the different components of data communication first of all message then we have sender receiver 
medium that means communication channel encoder and decoder and at last protocol so these are the six communication mediums component and here you can see a picture sender sending the message through this communication channel to the receiver and both of them are basically following what protocol when sender sending the message they need to decode the message uh, encode the message and when receiver receive the message before that receiver need to decode the message okay so these are the six communication uh, data communications uh, component right now i'd like to discuss about them one by one okay. so the first component is message the message is the information or data that is to be communicated it may be consist of text numbers picture sound video or any combination of them okay message basically which information which data i would like to send to the receiver okay it might be audio it might be video it might be text it might be picture or any other form okay right so this is the message at first you should have the message right and uh, in the computer you have definitely you have to use a digital signal to produce this data or information now next component is sender definitely we need sender sender mean the source okay a device that is used for sending messages is called sender it is also called transmitter or source we can call it sender we can call it transmitter or we can call it source the sender can be a computer telephone telephone or a video camera etc right usually a computer is used as sender in data communication system right so sender done now the receiver receiver basically uh, the destination our device that is used for receiving messages is called receiver it is also known as a sim the receiver can be a computer again telephone printer or a fax machine etc usually a computer is also used as receiver in data communication system simply who send okay or which device send that is called sender who basically receive that is called receiver right sender sender is the uh, source and receiver is the destination now the next component is the medium sender they would like to send the messages to the receiver but without communication channel without medium it is not possible to send data so now let's see what is medium or communication channel communication channel is nothing but a path okay so every day when you come to the university always you need to follow the path your home to your university isn't it so your home consider your home is the uh, source and university is the destination okay or vice versa your university might, might be the source and your home is the destination after your university you basically go to your, uh, go at your home by following the same path okay or you can follow the different path okay but you need the path so the path through which data is transmitted from one location to another is called transmission media okay it is also called communication channel it may be wire or fiber optics or telephone line etc if the sender and receiver are within a building a wire is used as the medium if the distance is short then we can use wire medium but if the distance is very large okay very long okay on that time it is not wise to use wire medium on that time we use wireless medium okay right if they are located at different location the medium may be telephone line fiber optics and microwave or satellite communication you can do satellite communication like one country to another country i would like to communicate with one country to another country on that time i use satellite 
communication or think about a very uh, remote area where uh, infrastructure i mean uh, it infrastructure is not that much advanced on that time i can use what satellite system okay right so here you can see some pictures okay we are doing here uh, in this in this portion we are doing here what wireless communication okay through this wireless uh, medium we are doing the communication and for this part we are doing basically what wire communication here is a here is the wire okay all the devices are connected through the wire this router from this router we have wire as well as this router uh, basically giving us the wireless facility right so this is communication medium okay or communication channel the next uh, component is the protocol protocol means a set of rules okay so before establish the communication in between two devices what we have to do we have to uh, agree with each other that i'm going to follow or we are going to follow this set of rules without rules if you do the communication there might be number of problem arise in some cases it will be quite impossible okay suppose for an example if my uh, sending speed is uh, 10 megabyte per second for an example and your receiving speed is supposed to be kilobyte per second on that time there will be a mismatch isn't it so what we have to do we have to follow some rules and regulation or simply we have to follow some rules and regulation as sender and receiver that is nothing but protocol a protocol is a set of rules that govern data communication it represent a agreement between the communicating devices without a protocol two devices may be connected but but not communicating just as a person speaking french cannot be understood by a person who speaks only japanese okay french person can speak in french and japanese person can listen again japanese person can speak in japanese language okay and french person can uh, listen okay but what do you think okay the person who on, who know who know only french he will not be able to understand anything japanese okay and same way for the japanese person okay they might be uh, connected with each other but they will not be able to communicate they will not be able to understand each other okay so this is the protocol and the last component of this data communication encoder and decoder so let's see what is encoder and what is decoder okay this is a very important uh, component in communication system computer are used for sender and receiver you already know a computer works with digital signal that's why computer is called digital device okay computer always work with digital signal suppose i would like to send um an email to my friend on that time when i write down the email i have to use digital signal the communication channel usually use analog signal okay uh, in computer we use a digital signal but what is the limitation of digital signal we cannot transmit the signal from one place to another place okay through the communication channel it is not uh, possible to transmit the digital signal okay but we can use analog signal analog signal can transmit from one place to another place think about our sound sound is one analog signal and we can transmit sound isn't it i am speaking and you are listening we can transmit the analog signal the decoder uh, encoder and decoder are used in communication system to convert signal from convert signals from one form to another form okay that means by using encoder and decoder we can transform the signal from one form to another form okay digital to analog or analog to digital encoder basically perform what the encoder is an electronic device it receives data from sender sender it receive data from the sender in the form of digital signal then it converts the signal digital signal into a form that can be transmitted through 
transmission medium okay that means it can transmit it can transform digital signal to analog signal okay right so encoder can perform this task it is nothing but signal converter it can convert digital signal to analog signal okay sender it uh, it basically collect the signal from the sender okay then it will convert that digital signal to analog signal so that we can transmit the signal through the communication channel and what is the main task of a decoder the decoder is an electronic device it receives data from the transmission medium it receives data from the transmission medium it converts encoder encoded signal into digital form okay what it will do it will convert again analog signal to digital signal okay your computer will not be able to understand the analog signal so what you have to do you have to again convert the signal so that's why you need encoder encoder will receive the data from the transmission medium and it will convert that signal from analog signal to digital signal right so uh, this encoder perform modula modulation task and decoder basically perform the demodulation task okay modulation is the process how we can convert uh, digital signal to analog and demodulator basically what demodulation means basically what uh, convert vice versa convert analog signal to digital signal right so let me show you uh, another uh, explanation another example here so here they are basically mentioning the thing uh, like this is the source that means you can call it the sender okay this is the source or sender I would like to send this A to my destination. Destination means this is the receiver. Okay, right. Here, uh, basically, the uh, very, I mean, brief explanation given here. Okay. Uh, so, you need not to learn that much thing. You just need to understand what is encoder and what is decoder. So, here is the sender. Okay, sender uh, by using this uh, encoder and by using this modulator, what it will do? It will convert this digital signal to analog signal okay digital signal to analog signal here we have source encoder source encoder basically uh, it will it will find out the digital value uh, digital value okay digital digits okay bits okay from this a then uh, this uh, channel encoder it will add some other bits so that it can uh, ensure the authenticity okay right then modulator what it will do it will convert this digital signal into analog signal then by using antenna transmitter antenna i would like to transmit it through the communication channel this is the communication channel and my receiver antenna will receive that uh, analog signal okay and by using this demodulator what i can do by using the demodulator i can convert analog signal to digital signal here it will check the authenticity the accuracy of this uh, signal then okay this is the value okay sent by the source and then it will give the same value to the destination that means receiver so in this way it will work so the main thing is that in encoder basically perform the task that is convert digital signal to analog okay modula modulation and decoder what it will do it will it will i mean vice versa it will convert digital signal uh, analog signal to digital okay demodulator okay right decoder so in this way it will work okay. so that's all about uh, this lecture thank you everyone